Hey, Scott from Blue Fox Creative. Uh, I'm at the WordPress Reddit and Tadam says, so I have this page located here and I want this page to do to act exactly like my home page. I'd like that image to be full width and I want it to cover the header here. Um, so you could accomplish this with, with, blah, with custom CSS. You have to make divs relative and you have to deal with margins and positions and it's a major pain in the butt. I wouldn't recommend going that route. It's just too much work. Um, if you can save time with plugins, I'd do it. I'd use something called Force Full Width Shortcode. This is a great shortcode. It's a major time saver. All it does is you use these opening and closing shortcode tags and whatever you put in between it will go full screen. May it be an image or a form or whatever you put in it. I think maybe even videos, I'm not sure. So anyway, I downloaded your theme. It's free, right? So I downloaded it to my computer and got it running. Here it is here, and this is an example of what I did with the plugin. Now it's covering over your breadcrumbs and your header because I adjusted the, cask the custom styles to do so. And how I did that was the following. I hid the entry title and the breadcrumb uh, divs. And then underneath of it, what I did was I raised the site content uh, up negative 48 pixels. Now I'm not convinced. I, I'm my gut's telling me that a negative adjustment is not the way to go. Um, but uh, that's what I've used for this example. You may, may somebody might chime in and give a better uh, solution for this. Um, and the only thing, the other thing you need to consider is the page ID. This is occurring on the product page here on my on my example and. And um, so you need to pay attention to the page ID. Let me show you where to, if you don't know where that is, you just, ah, let's see here. You can inspect it or you can, let's see, let's go to the source code. Here we go. View source. It's a lot easier to see it this way. Go into the body tag. Where are you? Body tag, body tag. There you go. So thankfully WordPress inc creates a unique uh, class for every page that you can change stuff per page, which is kick butt. So that's how you do it. That's why I use seven right here. Okay, so yours is going to be different. So make sure you use the right page ID. So other than that, that's it. Uh, this is Scott from Blue Fox Creative signing off. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this helped you out. All right, bye.